Well, we made it through our first little winter. If you were with, with us last week, we talked about it right before it hit and I took off. Uh, of course, it's just a cold snap and it coincides with whatever's blooming. And at this point, it's red bud. And uh, boy, there is stuff blooming out there now. We warmed up over the weekend and just everything's in bloom. It's beautiful spring weather. And we'll keep it going today. Now, there are some active showers and storms to the north. There's a frontal system up there. And it's going to stay up there. Uh, we'll have a low cutting across the upper Midwest, a warm front draped down across Ohio. So along this boundary, some showers and storms, mainly running in a line from Toledo down through Columbus and then fizzling out as it gets into West Virginia. Close to us, just not quite getting in here. What we'll see today, mostly sunny skies, partly sunny skies tomorrow. In our next chance for any kind of real active weather, this wave of low pressure back to the west, cold front on the move, some showers, some storms, a few by late Wednesday, but more than likely we'll see them firing up Thursday. So we're really uh, mainly more uh, focused on the temperature, at least for the next couple of days, because it is so warm. Doesn't seem like that at this point if you're in Danville, where you're at 39 degrees or Somerset, where you're starting out in the mid 30s. But forecast highs later on today and tomorrow are going to range anywhere from the low to mid to upper 70s. Look at that warmth. I mean, even into Tuesday, we're showing a near 80 degree high back towards Louisville. So this is some above normal warmth, even with showers and storms firing is again the Thursday will still be above normal. And looking back at March, it was above normal. Our average temperature for the month, the monthly temperature, 48.5 degrees. That's three degrees above our average monthly temperature for the month of March. Highest 73, lowest 22. We did both twice. Precipitation was slightly above normal by well, over a half an inch, 0.66 inches. And snow, we didn't have, as uh, well, at least enough to, to record anything. Snow was zip for the month. We normally pick up just shy of an inch and a half. So... March was warm and wet and this month so far definitely warm mid 70s. That is what we typically see for an average high May 15th. Uh, so yeah, we're having mid May warmth here as we get into uh, further along into early April and you can see it just continue to build. Now there are signs out there that eventually this will flip. You know, at some point when you run that warm, you're going to have the backlash and you can see this below normal cold or air building across uh, the U.S. out west, but the question is, will it translate east? Will it make it across the Mississippi? We've got you all the way out until April 14th. And remember, this just modeled that. It gives you an indication where things could be heading. Uh, but typically, when you run that kind of elevated warmth for that long, eventually something's got to give. But let's just enjoy it while it's here, right? 73 degrees for the high today. Beautiful stuff. Mostly sunny, breezy, warm, and spectacular. Upper 40s tonight, tomorrow. Right back at it, mid 70s, just a bit more in the way of cloud cover. And then we're still in the mid 70s Wednesday, but could see a few showers and storms around, and showers and storms likely Thursday, and then hopefully clearing it out for the weekend.